Welcome back folks to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming hurricane season. Now did anybody actually hear that they're looking to change some dates? So stay tuned because you may want to start preparing now rather than later. So you're all sitting there going, uh, what you talking about Willis? I don't know if anybody saw the news or not, but the hurricane season runs we all know from June 1st to November 30th, correct folks, you know, and we've been having a lot of active years in years past and things start a little bit earlier every year. Now, the National Hurricane Center is looking at the potential of moving the actual hurricane start date to May 15th because of the global warming type situation and the warmer waters that are occurring earlier in the season. Now stay with me here, okay? So all this is going into the whole projection and planning and everything else that the National Hurricane Center does. All right, now last year we all know it was a bumper crop year. It was a great year. Unless you lived in the Gulf Coast there where you just got storm after storm after storm. So this is why I'm doing this video. Number one. All right. So they're looking for a earlier start date. May 15th is the kind of date they're throwing around a couple of weeks early, two and a half weeks early than the June 1st. All right. And they're still going to leave it at ending in November 30th because usually by then the water start to cool off. And if the water temperature isn't really above 80 degrees, it's very hard for a storm of a hurricane style to survive and thrive and grow in. Being said, maybe now is a good time for you to start literally looking into your hurricane preps. Now, I'm going to put a little link up here to a whole series I did on hurricane survival. That'll be right there. Now, you can go back and you can look at that. And there is a ton of videos in there to help you out, to give you a nice template to go by, things you need, how to do things, and everything else when it comes to hurricanes. Okay, folks? But we have to remember, with the prices of everything going up from food, gas, the whole nine yards, all right, you might want to start looking into starting to secure some of your supplies. Go through, make a list of things you may be low on, especially if you live in a hurricane prone area. Maybe you need to start stocking up on batteries. Maybe you need to start looking into a battery bank. Maybe you need to start stocking up on food that you can eat and some way to cook it. Maybe you need to start looking into some water type containers that hold more than a gallon, like your milk jugs, all right? You wanna get something that holds five, six, seven gallons of water. And don't always forget that you can always fill your bathtub up before the storm hits. This way here, you can always use that water to clean with and use your five, six, seven gallon jugs to cook with and you use the water from your bathtub to flush your toilet, wash your hands, take a sponge bath, whatever you may need to do. So I wanted to bring a video out to get people aware, to get people to start thinking about this upcoming hurricane season. We've already started off this year with some really catastrophic events that have taken place. I mean, for God's sakes, it was snowing in Mexico. Do I need to say any more, folks? We saw what happened in Texas, Oklahoma. I mean, all these states. You know, it shut down um, UPS air system for the first time it's ever been shut down in the history since they built their main hub in Louisville, Kentucky. FedEx fell so far behind that they couldn't catch up and they had to stop receiving any of their air packages in which UPS were picking up from customers and delivering those packages because FedEx couldn't handle it because their whole system got shut down because of these storms. It affected all the different types of trucks 
and everything else to deliver all our supplies right to our store so that we can go there and we can buy our products. You see, folks, if it can't get there, we can't buy it. But right now, you have a golden opportunity. You still have time. You know, we're talking May 15th. We're just coming into the beginning of March. You have time. Do a little at a time. Don't break the bank. And if you get that lovely stimulus check from the government, maybe you should take a little bit of that money instead of blowing it on that big screen TV or that new phone or something like that that you probably don't even really need or gym equipment. And maybe go out and spend just a little bit of it to make sure that you can get yourself a little bit of supplies put up, maybe even at least a two-week supply to get you started on the right path. Because when the hurricanes start to come and the forecasters say they're headed towards your area, guess what's going to happen? Your stores are going to be wiped out. There'll be nothing there but crumbs. Don't put yourself in that situation. Take control. Take the bull by the horns, as the old folks always used to say, and make sure that you are prepared. I'm trying to give you a heads up and get you thinking in advance now to get prepared rather than later when it's too late. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners like to thank you for watching this video. If you have friends or family that do live in a hurricane-prone area, do me a huge favor and share this video with them. This way here, maybe they can go in and watch my playlist on hurricane survival. There is a lot of videos in there, folks. Cover a lot of different things that will help you out in a time of need and be prepared for the unexpected. Because you never know. All it takes is that hurricane to jot one way or the other. And the next thing you know, you're in the bullseye. With no food, no water, no power, and a hungry family. Not where you want to be. So till next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I will catch you all on the flip side.